Hello everyone, I'm Sir John, your math teacher for today. I will discuss to you another interesting topic in mathematics. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more math videos. Hi! Today, I will teach you on how to write the quadratic equation in its standard form. In this lesson, we will be able to illustrate quadratic equation, write it in its standard form, and identify the coefficient of each term in the equation. Are you ready? Let's start! What is quadratic equation? Quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2 that can be written in standard form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be equal to 0. There are two points that you need to remember that an equation is quadratic. First, it must have a degree of 2 or the highest exponent is 2 and a must not be equal to 0 because if a is equal to 0 then the equation is no longer a quadratic equation it becomes a linear equation ax squared is the quadratic term bx is the linear term and c is the constant term where a b and c are the numerical coefficients example write x squared plus 2x is equal to 4 in standard form again the standard form of a quadratic equation is written in a x squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. The given equation x squared plus 2x is equal to 4. Observe that in the quadratic equation in standard form, the right side of the equation must be equal to 0. In our example, we need to make this positive 4 0 following the format in standard form. How are we going to make this positive 4 to 0? That is, by adding negative 4 to both sides of the equation. So it becomes x squared plus 2x plus negative 4 is equal to 4 plus negative 4. And that is by applying the addition property of equality. Meaning to say, if you change something at the left side of the equation, you must change the same at the right side of the equation. Now, let's simplify. x squared plus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. And this is now the equation in its standard form. Now that the equation is in standard form, we can now identify the numerical coefficients. a is equal to positive 1. b is equal to positive 2. and c is equal to to negative 4. Remember, in identifying the values of a, b, and c of the given quadratic equations, always carry the signs. Second example, write x squared minus 5x is equal to negative 1 in standard form. Equation in standard form is written in ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. 
x squared minus 5x is equal to negative 1. Following the format, negative 1 must be equal to 0. So, we will add positive 1 to both sides of equation. It becomes x squared minus 5x plus 1 is equal to negative 1 plus 1. Let's simplify. We have x squared minus 5x plus 1 is equal to 0. So this is now the equation in standard form. Let's find A, B, and C. A is equal to positive 1. B is equal to negative 5. And C is equal to positive 1. Another example. Write 3x plus 2x squared is equal to 2 in standard form. Ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. We need to write 3x plus 2x squared is equal to 2 in standard form. Observe that the terms in the left side of the equation are not yet arranged in order. So we need to arrange the terms in each side of the equation. So let's arrange them. We have 2x squared plus 3x is equal to 2. Next, we need to make this positive 2 to 0. And that is by adding negative 2 to both sides of the equation. So we have 2x squared plus 3x plus negative 2 is equal to 2 plus negative 2. Then, let's simplify. So we have 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 because positive times negative is negative. Then, equals 0. And that is now the equation in standard form. So we can now find A, B, and C. So what is our A? A is equal to positive 2. B is equal to positive 3. And C is equal to negative 2. Another example, write x squared minus 7 is equal to 6x in standard form. Following this format, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. x squared minus 7 is equal to 6x. First, we need to make this positive 6x 0. And that is by adding negative 6x to both sides of the equation. So we have x squared minus 7 plus negative 6x is equal to 6x plus negative 6x. Let's simplify. We have x squared minus 7 negative or minus 6x. Because positive times negative is negative. Then, is equal to 0. Observe that the terms in the left side of the equation are not yet arranged in order. We need to arrange them following the format. So we have x squared minus 6x minus 7 
is equal to 0. And this is now the equation in standard form. So let's find the numerical coefficients. We have A is equal to positive 1, B is equal to negative 6, and C is equal to negative 7. Last example. Write the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 2 is equal to 2 in standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. We have the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 2 is equal to 2. We will write this in standard form. Observe that the left side of the equation contains two binomials. So, we need to simplify them. Find the product of the quantity x plus 3 and the quantity x minus 2. So, we have x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to 2. To find its product, you may use the FOIL method. Next step, we need to make this positive 2 to 0. And that is by adding negative 2 to both sides of the equation. So we have x squared plus x minus 6 plus negative 2 is equal to to 2 plus negative 2. Then, let's simplify. So, we have x squared plus x minus 8 because negative 6 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 8. Then, it is equal to 0. And that is now the equation in standard form. Let's find the values of A, B, and C. A is equal to positive 1. B is equal to positive 1. And C is equal to negative 8. And that's how we write equation or the quadratic equation in its standard form and how to find the values of A B and C. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more math videos. Bye!